look at the top half of La Liga. They variety, see. baby, variety. Barcelona, no 23 goals, just two conceded. They are perfect so far on the season. Atletico Madrid, fourth, also unbeaten. They do have three draws in those seven games. Real Madrid, fifth, seven points back. Yep. Of Barcelona, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid will meet on Saturday. Sid, does Barcelona stay perfect at Atleti's new stadium? Well, look, Barcelona's record against Atletico Madrid since uh, Diego Simeone's been in charge has actually been very, very good indeed, except in the Champions League. Um, it, it's, been, it's been exceptional in La Liga, and Leo Messi has had a great time of it at, at the Calderon, and of course, the wonder it, it may well be different. It may well be different because it's off the back of, of international break, and, and as usual in Spain, the debate is always about what they refer to as the FIFA virus, and no one ever, funnily enough, thinks of it the other way around. I mean, ask the Welsh what they think about the virus, the club virus, as how it affects national teams, but um, I, I think this is, this is a difficult one for Barcelona. I think actually Barcelona resu results so far have been slightly better than their performances, just as Real Madrid's results have been slightly worse than their performances. And, and, and I think that I think this is the kind of game when I can see Barcelona dropping points. Which is what Real Madrid need to happen. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's a seven-point gap between Barca and Real Madrid at the moment, a six-point between uh, Barca and Atleti. So they need to hope that other teams are going to start taking points off them and I mean who better to do so when you look down the league obviously than, than, than one of the Rats rivals but uh, if Chelsea can go there and win and it was a great performance from Chelsea uh, I do think Barcelona can go there and win I'm going for a Barcelona win they keep it going and keep the lead at the top I know it's not in the makeup of Barcelona to speculate with a result to, to be conservative in the way they play that's not who they are but I really think that Ernesto Valverde, given the set of circumstances that he has going into this match, where Lionel Messi is coming from international duty, where Luis Suarez is coming back from yet another international duty game where he, he played essentially the whole match, physically this is going to be challenging for Barcelona players, it's going to be challenging for Lionel Messi, mentally it's going to be challenging as well because you go from that high representing your country in the way that you did and then you're having to recreate that energy against Atletico Madrid. Valverde would take a point.